glacier. The duality. Well, uh, this lecture has uh, one goal and is to show us what is the main purpose of the existence on the planet Earth. Alright? Now, let's do here the absolute. In the absolute, all of us, without exception, were, before of starting, the cycle number one of the wheel of samsara. In all the human, animal, vegetable, and mineral existences with physical bodies, that all of us have lived. All right? Um, here, we were as unity, as a unity, all right? There will be explained 10 different steps during the conference, during the lecture, to understand how to achieve the self-realization step by step, what are the different processes that we will be experiencing and for sure how to achieve the goal right so the divine spark all these red points are showing the different billions and trillions of divine sparks and each one of those divine sparks uh, already came from the absolute, right? They were vomited from the absolute as a unity. But to work psychologically, spiritually, to achieve finally the self-realization, the monad, the inner being, which is the same, should be divided. All right now the symbol to understand the duality here as soon as the divine spark is vomited from the absolute is the famous yin and yang of the wisdom all right Now here, the famous scene and yang of the wisdom. Right? This duality is formed by the monad. Now, when we talk here about the duality and this symbol, we are trying to explain here the holy affirming. Right? And the holy denying. White unfolds in the black. The 
same time, we are talking about here spiritually as man. And the holy denying is booty. Positive. Negative. Masculine. Feminine. Yes. No. Right? Everything in the duality has its opposite. Everything, no matter what. Tall, short. Fat, slim. Success. Failure. Follows. Yoni. And so on. In fact, we are the human soul of our divine soul. And both of them are the same moment. Right? And it's necessary to achieve wisdom. Light and darkness. They are the perfect synthesis of wisdom. Right? Vertical, horizontal movements. Yes, no. Active, passive, masculine, feminine, etc., etc., etc. All right. Now the third step, the true meaning. This is the duality, unity. When we are here in the absolute, as one. Make the duality. As soon as the absolute vomited us millions of years ago, thousands of years ago, and then the Trinity. The symbol is this triangle with the three different forces, three cosmic forces, positive, negative, and neutral. Here we talk about again the holy affirming the holy denying or also affirmation, negation, and the third force, which is the conciliation. Right? Holy conciliating. Talking about those three spiritual forces, those three famous forces, including the wisdom of religions, here we should understand that as the Father, the inner Father, right? Here, the Holy Denying is the Son. One of the parts of our own inner being is our own authentic Son. which is our psychological coach, our psychological trainer, our own desire, which gives us justice, right? Wisdom, justice. And that third force is the motor, or which is the same, the Holy Spirit, which is our same divine mother. Father, Son, and our Divine Mother, Holy Spirit. All right? Yes? Positive, negative, neutral. Those three forces, positive, negative, and neutral force, are related with some other uh, wise words. 
Father represents in each one of us wisdom. The Son, which is our own desire, our psychological coach or psychological trainer, represents inside of each one of us justice. If we want to make justice in each one of us, in our own psychological country, in our inner worlds, it's necessary to believe the ego to make justice. And the third force is power. The power. Here we are talking about what is true. The Father represents the truth. Right? Our Son represents what is fair. And our Holy Spirit, our Divine Mother, represents what is useful. Which is useful. Right? So both of them are right here inside of each one of us to create. And the result of that creation is the holy conciliation. That third neutral force. Right? Our inner father, the one that gives us wisdom, only if we start the elimination of our psychological defects. This part called no, or the negative force, which is our ego, our psychological trainer, can manage the balance. This part of our own inner being manages the balance inside of each one of us, the equilibrium. If we defeat our own psychological coach, our own psychological trainer, it means if we delete gradually, constantly, permanently, little by little, as much as we can daily from instant to instant, he will give us wisdom and love. Because we should remember always here in this path of the self-realization that inside of each one of our psychological defects there, there are hidden the different divine sparks of wisdom and love. Our 97% of consciousness. Right? But if our own ego, which is the same son, our psychological trainer, defeats us, we'll be his slaves. And we won't change never. From human existence to human existence, we'll be the same. No matter what. Even if we read a lot of books about esotericism, if we give conferences, and so on. It does not matter. Our intentions are not valid for divine hierarchies. The only that really and truly matters for them are our actions, our transcendental changes. And it's only possible, spontaneously, naturally, if we learn the correct procedures to delete our psychological defects. This part of our inner being manages the balance inside of each one of us. He is the desire in every human being. Right? Remember that inside of each one of our psychological effects, there is hidden the fire, the light, the wisdom. If we seriously and truly want to be successful in our spiritual purification, 
which in fact should be daily as much as we can with self-observation and that inner petition to our Divine Mother in order to delete all these psychological effects. It's necessary to defeat ourselves, to defeat our psychological defects. There is trapped inside of each one of them our own consciousness, our own wisdom, our authentic and real love. If seriously we want to defeat our ego, our desire, it's necessary to study the goal of the desire. The desire looks inside of each one of us for only two things, to be or not to be, and that's all. Do we seriously want to be with our own inner being? Okay, let's delete our ego without justifications. Right? So, our inner father is the wisdom truth. Our son is the justice. And our Holy Spirit, which is the same Divine Mother, represents what is useful inside of each one of us again and again and all over again. To any thought or feeling or intention, instinct, desire, any type of inner psychological movement inside of each one of us in our own psyche, in our mind, is this error to ask ourselves, is this true? It comes from my inner father? Is it fair? Is it coming from my inner son? Is it useful for the development of our of my own inner being? Right? If it's not, if at least one of these three is not true or fair or useful, please make the inner petition to your own Divine Mother. And when we talk about truth, fair, or something useful for the development of our own inner being, We are talking about fears, envy, anxieties, worries, revenges, those inner sexual desires, drugs, alcohol, judging others' lives, bothering others' lives. Likes, gluttony, greed, Pride, lust, etc., etc., etc. All of that, without exception, carry each one of all those psychological effects. And with the process of self observation and that inner petition from the bottom of our hearts to our Divine Mother, in order to delete all those subjective elements that, without exception, each one of us carry inside will defeat our psychological trainer. We'll defeat ourselves. We we'll learn to achieve self-control. But spontaneously, naturally, from the bottom of our hearts. Because gradually we'll be releasing our own consciousness and those grades of reflections, continuous analysis, will lead us to final and objective comprehensions about ourselves and about others' behaviors in order to achieve wisdom.
but if we don't start the process of purifying ourselves, it's not possible to achieve the quaternary, which is the next step. If we start with this practice, the practice of the self-observation, and the inner petition to all those worries, fears, thoughts, anxieties, envies, lusts, gluttonies, greeds, prides, traumas, all those types of thousands, literally, of psychological effects will never achieve the fourth step, which is the quaternary. We talk about the quaternary. We talk about the balance of the magnetic centers. As soon as we start dying psychologically, psychologically, which is the elimination of the ego represented in all those psychological effects, no matter who they are inside, we start the balance of our magnetic centers. The purification of our mercury, which is our same sexual creative energy, will be a fact, will be true. And it requires constant, permanent self-observation, self-observation, and the inner petition immediately, mentally, sincerely. That inner petition to our Divine Mother, because she has the power, she has the mission of releasing us of our psychological effects. All right? Psychological self-observation and the inner petition for the elimination of the ego and practicing meditation. Meditation is essential and a half, crucial and a half. Reflective meditation. Please search in our cycle of lectures if you want conference number 22. 22nd conference lecture will give you the information to learn to meditate. It'll give you definitely the right gradually. This is a process, remember. The right thinking. The right feeling. The right speaking. And the right acting. We'll feel the change gradually, little by little. In our thinking, the way we think, the way we feel, the way we speak, and the way we act. Only if we start the process of the inner purification daily, gradually, if possible. But this is a gradual process, for sure, from instant to instant. Probably in the first stages of our process of purification, we'll be gradually eliminating some psychological effects. But if we continue with perseverance, authentic journey, basically, with the self-observation, and we'll be through different emotional crises, it's very important to understand it. powerful emotional crisis will be a fact during our inner process of purification we'll see the change inside we'll see the change for sure for sure this is a fact for all those serious practitioners all those that sincerely want to achieve their own self-realization. All right? So this straight square represents the balance of the magnetic centers. The sexual center, located in the coccyx bone, 
instinctive center located in the sacrum bone, a bit above the emotional, the lower emotional center at the level of the stomach, but on the dorsal spine in a specific vertebra, a bit above the intellectual center, the lower intellectual center at the level of the heart, but in a specific vertebra on the dorsal spine at the motor center at the level of the throat. Again, on a specific vertebra on our dorsal spine. Those are the lower five magnetic centers and they need to be balanced for our own good and also for our common good. And that's truly possible if we start the process of knowing ourselves through the first practical tool called self-observation, which is atrophied due to lack of use, but gradually we are atrophying that sense. And the inner petition to our Divine Mother, as soon as we see negative thoughts, anxieties, fears, prides, lustful details, greed, gluttony, and so on. Gradually, we'll be developing ourselves more. We'll be knowing ourselves more and more and more. And it's up to us. It depends on our own inner strength, on our own authentic gear to see the results inside. All right? So for every single, or at least as much as we can daily, for all those thoughts that cross our mind, it is right to be alert to detect them in order to delete them with the inner petition to this inner force that has the mission of our Divine Mother, which is our same sexual creative energy, in order to delete them, all those Lower feelings, fears, anxieties, revenges, rancors, hates. All of them are part of our feelings, lower feelings. Well, deleted with our own Divine Mother and we'll see the change inside. Sometimes, or many times in our lives, we don't speak wisely, objectively. Most of the time, we don't speak wisely. So, if due to some inner reactions, and those inner reactions need to be detected sooner than later, in order to change our destiny gradually, grain by grain, little by little. And all our acts, our actions, are the result of our negative or positive thoughts, negative or positive feelings, and they do have relation also with our way of speaking. So this is something serious. When we talk about the authentic purification of ourselves, we are talking about something absolutely delicate absolutely serious. Right? We'll be saving energy gradually, little by little, day by day. If we start the practice of the psychological death, the elimination of all our psychological defects, little by little we'll feel the change, for sure. Do not believe me, please, but prove it. You don't have to believe, to believe me here something. But please prove it for your own good. And for sure, for a common good as well. Right? Only if we establish inside 
the balance of our magnetic centers will achieve or will be ready to start the crystallization of the kinry. That kinry is represented by this misunderstood cross. Let me show you here this cross. Alright. This queenery at the same time represents the work in the supra sex. If we are single, we may achieve the balance of our own magnetic centers. But for conquering the queenery, for being successful in the crystallization of our own queenery, which is the same genesis of the Bible, or the same first mountain of the esotericism, Is necessary to create in the sexual alchemy the five solar bodies. Solar physical body, solar physical body, solar vital body, solar astral body, solar mental body and solar causal or will body. This is only for couples of the opposite sex. It's mandatory, excuse me for clarifying this way, this point. It's mandatory to find a couple only of the opposite sex. This is just only possible between a man and a woman, that's all. And start the process of the transmutation of our sexual creative energies without spilling the sexual energy because here we should understand that only the possibility of our own regeneration, of our human regeneration, is established through the suprasex the transmutation of sexual creative energy. Alright? When anyone, it doesn't matter if it's in a female physical body or in a male physical body, create all these five solar inner bodies, that person becomes immediately in a solar man. A solar man is the one that already created his or her own solar bodies. Right? At the very end of the creation of the fifth body, solar causal body that initiate must make a decision. Nirvana path or direct path. If that initiate chooses the direct path, that person has the right to immediately continue with his or her own scenery, which is the next step of all the process of the inner purification. For all those that choose the nirvana path they are called traitors here is some misunderstanding when we talk about the spiritual inner purification because there is the belief that without a doubt only for those that choose the nirvana path they will have the opportunity of the self-realization and that is not true only for all those that already choose 
the direct path, only they may achieve their own self-realization, their complete purification, their authentic freedom. Okay? The Nirvana path is the path of traitors. All right? For all those that choose the direct path, immediately they have the opportunity to continue with the rest of the process of the purification. When the Kundalini arrives to the motor center, which is located at the level of the throat, immediately they must make a decision. Direct path or nirvana path. Again and again. If they choose the direct path, they have immediately the right, the opportunity, only for those that choose the direct path, of continuing with their own process of purification, all right? They will leave their own scenery. Their own scenery, this sixth step of the process, out of ten, is represented by these crops. A triangle pointing down, which is crossed by another triangle pointing up. Right? This cross is representing the perfect wedding, the perfect matrimony. Are it's only possible for the authentic revolutionaries. For those authentic rebels, for all those that chose the direct path, the triangle pointing down represents our divine soul, our divine soul, and this triangle pointing at represents our human soul which was just created when we created our five inner solar bodies in sexual alchemy with a person with an unstable couple of the opposite sex. The path of regeneration is absolutely possible for all those that seriously know the techniques and that are willing to prove them, to practice them. All right? So, the crystallization of the scenery inside of all those authentic initiates is when they bring their kundalini from the motor center at the level of the throat to the brain. is the motor center at the level of the throat, they have the right of bringing their kundalini to the brain. When they get it, and for sure they will, they have crystallized their own scenery. Also, this star is called the David Star. David's star, right? And they truly have the right of living the greatness of the heart. Only for all those that already chose the direct path. The Christmas of the heart is a fact for all those authentic and real initiates. After bringing the Kundalini from the motor center to the brain, they are going to leave 
the septenary. The septenary is represented by a cross like this one. cross represents the second mountain of the esoteric vision, the apocalypse. Living the apocalypse inside of each one of us, it's mandatory when seriously any one of us wants to achieve our own self-realization. And this cross represents the seven golden bodies that all those authentic initiates should create in that second process called the second mountain of the esoteric vision. If possible to continue with the same partner, with the same couple they had in the first mountain of the esoteric vision, all right, excellent. If they needed for any reason, due to any reason to change the couple, okay, they should wait one year for taking again one more couple in order to create the seven golden bodies, which are the bodies of the Christ. Here, the Christ is born. The birth of the Christ is a fact for all those authentic initiates that chose the direct path. Right? The Christ is the son of the man. Do you remember that Bible statement? All right. If we want for us the greatest event of our life to live it inside of each one of us, it's necessary to, first of all, to become ourselves a man. An authentic man for the divine hierarchies of this solar system is only the one that already created all those five inner bodies. All those five solar bodies. And it's only possible through sexual alchemy. Yes, the elimination of the ego gradually to get to achieve the balance of the magnetic centers. So then it's possible the crystallization of our human soul. We don't have soul. What we have inside uh, is just an essence, 3% of essence, only our divine is part. Because when any person of this planet Earth has an authentic soul, that person has incredible faculties, powers, virtues, to work for the rest of the mankind. So all these solar bodies will be replaced here in the process of the apocalypse. In the process of the creation of the seven golden bodies. Golden physical body. Golden vital body. Golden astral body. Golden mental body. Golden causal body. Golden buddhic body. And golden atmic body should remember that in the first stage of our work, when we seriously start the esoteric path, only for all those that already have Kundalini, they seriously started the esoteric path. Here, the buddhic body and the atmic body, they are already created.
We don't have to create them here in the first mountain of the asteroidism because they are already created. But here we are going to replace these solar bodies, including both golden booty body and golden atomic body in the process of sexual alchemy to become them in golden bodies. All right? At the same time, during all this process, which is at least 20 years of our physical time, at least 20 years of our physical time, the time we understand currently, as we understand it currently, will delete each one of the causal defects. Lust, pride, envy, greed, gluttony, laziness, right and pride, will pay the entire karma that we've been accumulating during the last seven human existences, and the Christ will grow inside of each one of us. Right? And here probably we should remember that those four letters which are in re, ignis natura, renovatur integra. Ignis natura, renovatur integra. In re. The fire renews constantly the nature. Ignis natura, renovatur integra. This is the path of the Christ. Inri, ignis natura renovatur integra. The fire renews constantly the nature. Sexual fire is essential for all those that seriously want to achieve their own authentic freedom, their own self-realization. Without sex, nothing is possible. With the wise usage of our sexual creative energy, it's possible to go back to the Absolute wisely. With a 100% of our entire consciousness already released, we came from the Absolute in an inner state of innocence, without wisdom, without love, only with innocence. During all these seven, ten steps, we'll see how is it possible to go back over there with entire wisdom and connect it to the highest law of the universe, which is the law of love. Right? When we believe with the help of our inner Christ, our Divine Mother and our inner Father, the seven causal defects, which are the origin of the ego, the origin of all type of sufferings that have existed in our planet Earth, all right, we have the process, you have the right to continue with our own process, crystallizing the octonary. The octonary inside of each one of us is represented by this cross. Me, I will delete this information.
this cross is represented by these two squares, right? This octonary is showing the third word that is necessary to fulfill in that called the third mountain of the esotericism. With this third mountain of the esotericism, the initiate, that resurrected master, because we have the right to live our own resurrection, that inner resurrection that Master Jesus lived 2,020 years ago, something else, we do have the right to live it inside of each one of ourselves. Here, when they finished the second mountain of the esoteric vision, they already released the 99% of the consciousness. Here, they will conquer the other 1% of cosmic consciousness to complete the whole 100% of consciousness. Here, it's mandatory to fulfill with two different works. Work number one. The creation of the seven light bodies. Light bodies. And number two, to find a disciple, to find an initiate that chooses the direct path. Find a student and initiate that chooses the direct path. Do you remember? If they fulfill these two conditions, all right, and this is a work dedicated for the mankind, right? They have the right to continue with the Novenaric ninth step, right? This ninth step is represented by a cross like this one, something like this. In the Novenari, the mechanicity of the wheel finishes. The mechanicity of the wheel, the mechanicity of all the process has finished. This is a fact where they delete the entire ego. Without exception of them that arrive to this novenary, to this stage number nine of the process, out of ten, they fulfill the elimination, the total elimination of the ego. Right? Here, they pass through the process called the purgatory. Purgatory is an inner planet where only these resurrected masters have the right to live in. All right? Here, the Christ, 
the inner son, which is the psychological trainer, the psychological coach, and our divine mother, they live a mystic death. That unification, that fusion, it's a fact. It's a process that all those resurrected masters, without exception, fulfill in the nominary process. Right? And there is only one more step before leaving the connection with the highest law of the universe. Yes, which is called the venery. The venery is represented by this image. This is Godfather. This is God's mother. Phallus and vagina. When the father penetrates innerly, internally, when Godfather penetrates Godmother, the self-realization is achieved. And here, even when they are already resurrected masters, if the 100% of consciousness already released, that authentic master should wait for his decision, the decision of his own inner father. Obedience is essential here if any one of us want to achieve the self-realization. Only when the inner father makes the decision, right, of penetrating Godmother, the work is done. The entire work of the Christification, of the inner purification, of the authentic freedom, of the self-realization, it'll take a hundred years, 25 years, five minutes, we have no idea about it. Only when our inner father makes the decision, The work is done. The work of the self-realization. And is represented with this symbol. This is the symbol of the venery. And it's possible for all those that eliminated the ego without exception, even its shape. Right? The master must wait until his or her inner father makes the decision. All right. Wisdom is integrated in life. Father, wisdom. Mother, love. 
when the wisdom is integrated into love, the work is done. This is the symbol of the denary. This is the symbol of all those authentic, absolute men. These are solar men, galactic men, and here absolute men. To go back to the absolute connected through the highest law of the universe, which is the law of love. All right? Infinite patience, perseverance, faith. Sexual alchemy, the elimination of the ego, without excuses, without justifications, will lead us, for sure, for sure, to the main goal that any one of us may have in our lives. In fact, for serious practitioners, this is their destiny. The destiny of becoming themselves in absolute men. Right? Thank you very much for attending this new lecture. If you have any question or doubt about it, please let me know and shortly we'll respond to you, okay? Thank you.